Hi everybody. Today I made a new component called Blazor File Upload, which is just a wrapper for the component called Blazor File Input by Steve Sanderson. And I'm going to show you a real quick demo of how to use it, and then I'll show you how we'll create our own project in about five minutes if I can pull this off. So first I'm going to just show you, uh, I'm going to just browse for a file to upload. So I'll just go to my graphics and I'll just choose any little picture here of the butler. And it just says file butler was uh, saved, uploaded. And now I'm going to show you how to create your own. Sorry that wasn't too exciting, but I could have shown a picture, but I was just trying to show you. I will show you that it goes into the folder. If we go over here to the upload folder, here's the butler.png with about a 12-digit partial GUI just to kind of guarantee you have uniqueness in the folder so you don't have to delete before you resave the same file name. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create a new project just loosely based on this exact thing, but we're going to just should take us only a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and first. The one thing you must use is Visual Studio 16.4, which is .NET Core 3.1. And right now it's in preview, but in December 2019, which is about a month from now, it should be full version. Or if you're watching this from the future, it may already be out. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. I wanna remove that because we're gonna create a new one. So I'm just gonna say create a new project. I'm going to call it a Blazor app. If you don't have that in your recent list, just type in Blazor and it'll be the first thing here that shows up, Blazor app. And here I'm just going to call this file upload test for simplicity. All right, and create. And yes, we're going to just accept all the defaults. Okay, so give the project just a second to open. And I believe Visual Studio has everything open for us, but sometimes you have to click around there to be able to start debugging. Okay, so this is just showing you, this is the default Blazor app. I'm not even going to bother taking out some of the Microsoft stuff that comes with it, like the weather forecast. I'll just leave that in there. But what I do want to do is just go manage NuGet packages for solution. And we are just going to say data juggler dot blazor dot file upload. So I already have it here. I'm going to install it. Give this just a second to install. And a lot of this stuff is installed by Microsoft and a couple are by me. Or one is by me. Okay, so now we are going to go over here to our project. And I'm going to just open up our index. We go to the pages folder. Sorry, I'm going to go to the index.razor. And here I'm going to just modify this a little bit and just say add... Uh, sorry, using data juggler dot blazer dot file upload. And now I just come over here, I'll change this to file upload test. Ah, it's like a type. Okay, and now this is where we're going to add. First, I'm just going to add a little div because I don't like the, the, the size it comes as a little big by default. So I'll just say uh, class is going to be file upload, and we'll add that class. So we'll do that real quick. Go to the www root folder, open this up, and I'm just going to add dot file upload, and say font family Verdana, font size 12 pixels. Okay, so there, did that part. And while we're here, I want to add a new folder called upload. And if you want to change that name, I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Okay. Now, by default, the control expects that folder name to be upload. But we're going to go ahead and first add our file upload component. Now, if you want, you don't have to add this, but I usually set the custom success message and just change that to your file uploaded successfully and on change equals uh, file uploaded and here if you want to change the upload folder you can set in the path the name of the uh, upload folder if it's not upload but you don't have to do that okay so now you notice it's, it's com visual studio is complaining because we don't have our file uploaded event so we're going to add that I'm going to cheat just a little bit and go to this is from the instructions on the github page if you want to come here and read this but here is actually I'm just gonna copy this so it shouldn't 
not too much. And there, that gives us everything we need. Oh, so it's on file uploaded. I do that every time. Okay. All right. So now that we have this saved, let me hit save and run it. And let's just see if we work. Oh, wait. There's one more thing we got to do. I'm sorry. Hang on. Let me see. See, I know what it is. I'm getting an error, but I'll show you why we're getting it. And the reason is I need to go to host page right here. And this is also on this page, but if you go further up, this link right here needs to be pasted right above this. So if you go over here to the host.cshtml and paste this in here, the control was expecting that. I think that's why that was complaining. So let's run it again and see if we work. Sorry, I didn't open. Okay. Choose file. And I will just come down here and choose my wood button. And it says the file wood button dot JPEG uploaded. So that's all I'm going to show. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any, you know, I didn't return like the size. If you, I'm going to show you one quick, I'll show you one more example before we go because I didn't take too long on this one. And I'm going to go back to this and I'm going to take out the custom success message. And if you don't want to use that, you get this and I'll, this might give you more. And if you want me to return this information, I could do that also, or like a file info object. And I'll just select the check mark. And it says here that th this shows you the bytes that were returned from the file name. So that's, that's the default message if you don't want to, uh, you know, it, but I, I kind of thought it was useful to override that message for some users you may not want to show them the bytes you know I could see explaining what a byte is to my mom but all right thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other you know features you want me to add to this because I thought it was pretty useful and Steve Sanderson gets all the credit but at least to me it's easier to wrap this in just one NuGet reference all right thanks for watching